Hello everyone, this is Julie from August Birdsong. I'm just bringing you a quick uh, little video showing you my latest um, envelope creation. This is called Minoan Mysteries. And the Minoans were an ancient people who lived on the island of Crete off the coast of modern day Greece. And the mystery is they had this wonderful um, culture and lifestyle uh, for thousands of years on the island of Crete, and then suddenly it all just disappeared. And the thought is that an uh, earthquake at a nearby island maybe caused um, a tidal wave that destroyed um, a tidal wave or a tsunami that destroyed the way of life on the island of Crete for the Minoans. Uh, and so all we have are artifacts from their, their time that have been uh, found. But, <clears throat> excuse me, this is the culture that the stories of King Minos and the Minotaur that Theseus had to fight in the... Um, in the uh, well, maze below the castle um, or fortress. Uh, th that's where those stories came from, was this culture of the Minoans. And then later, um, the Mycenaeans uh, were people from the, the coast of what is today Greece, who also conquered the Minoans, and they were more of a warrior culture. And it's probably out of their influence that we have the story of the Minotaur. But in, in both cases, the Minoans and the Mycenaeans who were there, um, the tsunami or whatever happened is what, um, <clears throat> what took away that, that time in history and changed things. So I've tried to capture um, that bit of history in this envelope. This is roughly... Not exact, but roughly about eight and three quarters by 12 inches. This one's just a little bigger, but it's just made from one of those traditionally large envelopes that you get in the mail. And I've cut this one down a little because it had some torn edges. The one I used here had a bigger uh, window on it. And the second window came from a smaller envelope that I added to the back before I added all the jelly prints. And so I put the second picture under that and then just went in with strips of jelly prints and um, that I had made. And the thing is with this particular type of, of approach, you don't need to have perfect jelly prints. I am not an expert with jelly printing. I've just, you know, made some different things and then tear them down to use the parts of them that I like the best for whatever I'm working on. So the jelly prints can be made using stencils. Um, they can be used with texture um, plates. These are from Carabel Studio. And... Uh, these are just like a regular stamp. They just don't have the foam uh, or the wood, you know, that holds the stamp together. So it's just the rubber of it. And you just put that down on the jelly print. And so you can see here how that uh, took effect on the jelly print. Here's another one. It's real subtle here, this little, like, sunflower but it came from uh, this one, I believe. And so you just get different effects using those different pieces, but you don't even need to have texture plates. You could just get paint down, um, and really it doesn't even have to be a jelly print, any kind of, of paint that you wanna put down. Uh, I like to have a separate panel with the, the paint on it. So I just use drawing paper with the jelly prints. And so here's a separate, you know, panel that I painted on. And then I attached it to the envelope I showed you. 
And so just gluing down different segments. I also like to, and you don't have to do this, I like to distress the edges a little. If you can see that, it's a little distressed as compared to the the undistressed side. So let me do this here. See how that's a little bit darker? I need to get some more ink on my stamp. But that just helps sort of meld it with the other colors instead of it just being a real stark edge. Now, this could be real effective, though, if you want to use that contrast of that white edge to your advantage with whatever you're making. So it's totally optional, but here's how I do it. You know, I just piece things up, put them right up to the edge of the photo, you know, and just like a, a puzzle, work my way around, trying to keep with colors that, you know, work well together. And then I move on to the back. And in this case, I actually added a third panel. I did that with the extra envelope I showed you, the extra one I used. So this part was, you know, one big envelope. I used the extra panel for the picture, and then I had a white part of an envelope left. So what I did is I just used the lip of it, overlapping, put it down, and then did the jelly prints over the top of that. And then to secure it, I just stitched everything in. You wouldn't need to have a sewing machine. Uh, you could just use a, a strong uh, craft glue. Uh, I use, if I really want something to hold, and I'm not going to sew it especially, I'll use fiber tack, um, Faber-Tac, I guess. That's my glue stick. That's what I use. This is another, this is a craft quick dry glue. Um, but it's, you know, a little bit stronger than just the, the school version. So that's the, the outer edges of this. And then when you open it, here's the inside of the book. And here, um, what I've done, I made a pocket there with some images uh, just to show, you know, they the people who lived on the island of Crete were on the Mediterranean Sea, and they traded uh, with, you know, neighboring coastal um, towns and and villages. You know, think of Italy, and um, you know, moving along the um, northern coast of Africa. So it was a big trading community. They were also farmers. I've, and fishermen, of course, and I've added some little jelly prints that I stamped on uh, to represent that. And so my goal with this was really to try to capture the colors and the culture uh, and the lifestyle of this ancient um, group of people. I also added, this is uh, a mosaic, which are the little colored tiles, uh, the Minoans, used those in their um, artwork and a lot of their artwork is with nature with sea life and plant life and all of that so I included that and I just mod podged that onto the jelly print um, so here are some more you know coastal scenes I stamped on some muslin uh, here and then also right here this is a stamp from Lavinia Stamps, and I think the flower is called like Nigella, something like that. Here's another stamp uh, that I uh, stamped just on uh, a piece of, of uh, jelly printed paper. And those, like the Sains, Footprint in the Sands, these came from uh, Red Lead Paperworks. Let me see here, Footprints in the Sand there. And then over here, we had pieces of the past to bygone time. And it's just a set of like three stamps each. Uh, the wheat along the bottom, farming was something else that this ancient culture um, 
was known for. And, and of course, to survive, that's how their food came about. So I just used this, um, I think this is a crafter's workshop stencil, and it's just like the sheaves of wheat. And so on top of the jelly print, I just went in with Distress Ink and distressed those uh, into the image. And then if we turn it here, this is another stamp uh, from Red Lead Paperworks. You can see right there, it's this fish. And these smaller quotes are from an Etsy store called Poppiness. And there are a few of those throughout it. And so that is my share for today. Um, if you're interested in a challenge, you know, something different from what you're making, uh, try this, you know, with, and again, you don't need to have um, uh, the jelly plate. You could just do a mixture of uh, paint on different papers or even use some, some paint with some scrapbook paper. And it kind of pushes the uh, design back a little on something with the design already. And, and give it a try. It's nothing more than tearing paper. Um, I like to ink it, gluing it down, and using recycled um, envelopes if you want to go with that. But really, it could be done on anything. So um, that's that. And have a good day. Stay um, healthy, and I'll bring you another quick video in the future. Thank you. Bye-bye.